Oh my goodness, I thought gun control was going to be the big one. I forgot about abortion. So, as you can imagine, most human beings, including myself, I'm not really for abortion. I think I, think I read this statistic one time, and I hope it's accurate, but I read a statistic that 99% of every newborn born in the United States of America will be adopted. That is fantastic. That tells me if a baby could be taken to full term and could just be born, whether the mom then decides to keep it or not, the family decides to keep it or not, at least if it goes out to adoption, it's going to get adopted and it's going to have a great chance for a life, a good life, you know, hopefully. That's what we all hope for every child out there. But with that said, I do not feel that I or any other dude, rich, white, black, brown, has any say in a woman's life. In 1973, the Supreme Court in Roe versus Wade, they got it right. They were not there. That court case, people don't understand this. That court case was not specifically, do we allow abortions or not? No. That court case was, do we give females the same rights as males over their own body? That's what that court case came down to. Does women have the same right as men? Should they have the same right as men? They absolutely should. The Supreme Court in 1973 got it right. When we got somebody in power in 2017 and they decided, hey, I'm going to start just politically motivated. I'm going to start shaking things up and creating problems for people, creating divide, creating hate. Guess what they had to pull out of the closet? I, to this day, 100% believe a female has the exact same rights as a man. That's just what I believe. Blacks have the same exact rights as a white guy. It doesn't matter to me. Everybody, every American has the same rights. It's just some people don't want to treat them that way. I'm not that way at all. Some of the restrictive voting rights that came right off the playbook from the 2017 administration when the uh when the the lie the election fraud lie came out some of these governors down in some of the and i apologize some of the red states not all the red states some of the red states the governors and the legislators went through and created a whole bank laws to restrict our votes that doesn't fly with me at all when you take a right away from any human being in the united states of america you're going to keep digging. You're going to keep doing one. They took the little rights away from women in some of the states. Now they're taking voter rights away. That's going to keep on going. The people that uh, stripping rights away from women, they need to get voted out. They need to go away. The, the people that took rights away from uh, the voters, they need to get voted out. They need to go away. We need to clean up every single American that's an honest you know, uh, career criminals, I don't care about you. You have no rights. I don't care. Anybody outside of that, honest, hardworking Americans should all have the same exact rights. Man, woman, black, white, brown, yellow, Chinese, I don't care. If you're a citizen of the United States of America, every one of your rights should be identical. There's no reason why it shouldn't. So anyway, at the end of the day, I guess I would have to call myself a pro-choice. I'm not a I'm not pro-abortion. Uh, don't get me wrong. I'm not pro-abortion. I would love to see every baby born and cared for and loved and nurtured in the United States of America. At the end of the day, that is not my choice. That is the individual female's choice. Like I say, I will go right back to Roe versus Wade, 1973. The Supreme Court got it right. Some... Uh, but I guess I'll say bad people brought it back to a head just to stir up the pot. Anyway, thank you.